But we begin with former Governor Rick Snyder just hours away from appearing in federal court for the Flint water crisis. Snyder is expected to plead the fifth in the morning. His appearance comes as the criminal case against him has hit a brick wall. We reported that yesterday, but tomorrow it's the civil case and that is moving forward. Mara McDonald live in Ann Arbor tonight. Mara, that's where this hearing is going to happen and something rather rare will happen tomorrow in that courtroom. Devin, that's right. You know, people are actually going to be able to see the governor, you know, testify here in court in person. Here's the thing. Normally, when we cover a federal court case, our cameras are not allowed in. We have no way to record the audio. The best you get is usually a sketch artist. In this case, the judge has decided she's going to stream what happens in court. The criminal cases in the Flint water probe got crushed this week. There's just no other way to say it. After the Michigan Supreme Court, in a unanimous decision, said the indictments against top officials like Rick Snyder are invalid. Because of the way things have gone, we have gotten slapped in the face and kicked in the behind since this whole thing started, and it continues to happen for this community. But that doesn't mean the civil cases are over. Thursday morning, former Governor Rick Snyder is expected to appear in federal court in Ann Arbor. This is a civil case. Attorneys for four children are suing two engineering companies. Both did consulting work for Flint on water. Snyder is expected to appear in court and invoke the Fifth Amendment against providing live testimony. Jurors will instead then hear the videotape deposition he's already done. Tomorrow's proceedings are known as a bellwether trial, meaning it's essentially a test case when you have the potential of thousands of individual plaintiffs. Back here live. Now, you will remember that there's already been a massive settlement in the Flint water crisis, a massive civil settlement, easily more than $600 million. This is a separate civil case because those two engineering firms that are at the heart of this one, they did not participate in that settlement. We're live in Ann Arbor tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Fascinating day ahead. We will be covering it for you then. All right, Mara.